Well, you've got uh, Nelug, Newton's Law of Universal Gravitation. You've got the mass of the Earth and the Moon's average orbital radius. And I want you to put on a curly white wig and find the actual acceleration of the Moon. And the interesting thing is the mass of the Moon is not a factor in the actual acceleration of the Moon in its orbit around the Earth. Go figure. In this one, <clears throat> it's about your favorite breakfast cereal. <laughs> when I was a kid, they were making all kinds of variations on Cheerios. It was crazy. There were multi-grain Cheerios. Those were awful. I bought a bunch of those on clearance. And then there were other Cheerios. Of course, Honey Nut Cheerios. That's what's up. Okay, so in the comments, please post your favorite variation on Cheerios. But the interesting thing about Cheerios is when you put them in a bowl, sometimes you'll get them sticking to the edges. That's, okay, that's fine. But sometimes they also clump together in the middle. And if you have two that are near each other, they just go whoop and clump together. And it's actually not because of gravity, it's for a really cool reason, but I'd like you to calculate the gravitational force so that we can kind of wave at it and say, yeah, yeah. Okay, this one's about Kepler's third law, where the period square is proportional to the radius cubed. <coughs> so you have to kind of do that and figure out what the proportionality constant is, and that's how Newton actually got cool. When, um, when he came up with his law of universal gravitation, he was able to use it to demonstrate Kepler's third law. This was alluded to by Shinny, but we'll just go on and um, do it. This one, Newton's law of universal gravitation and some circular motion equations. Could you be any more cryptic, Dr. Schuster? Uh, you want to derive this equation for the speed of an object in a circular orbit caused by gravity. I am not sponsored in these videos, although I'd be happy to talk to somebody at General Motors. Is gravity really a force? Well, that's a big question. And problem six, why is gravity so weak? C'est-à-dire, why is capital G such a small number? And that's another big question. So uh, try to work on them, and if you have any trouble, then look down there where you can find my work linked. Goodbye. Did you